See, we're checking out something from Tango Gameworks, and in, surprisingly enough, it's not a horror game. Ah, uh, dude, I was so shocked to find out Tango Gameworks is making this game called Hi-Fi Rush, and it is a complete opposite of what we know Tango to make, which is the minute I heard they're making something, I was like, well, I'm out, and then they dropped this at the game, at the Xbox game uh, developer direct, right? And it came up, comes up, I was like, this is... This is interesting. All right, this is cool. It has a it it has its own style and charm and personality that I wasn't expecting when you get to, you know, the Evil Within and Evil Within 2 and just another horror game, another horror game as just like which is obviously not my genre whatsoever. So to come in and have Hi-Fi Rush and with a dude, this is a different taste what I was expecting as well, right? <laughs> it put me in a whole yes. other place, but it was I was smiling the whole time playing the game. It's charming, it's got personality. The characters are funny. They're witty. They yeah. are the art style behind the characters and the world itself. It takes a bit of a bit of an edge from Borderlands and kind of mixes it over with Tango and what they've created here within the in the world. Dude, I'm having a blast so far with Hi-Fi Rush. Uh, this is charming. This is something I, I think a lot of people should definitely give a shot, especially if you have Game Pass because it's there. Steve, yeah. what do you think so far? Like you, I was surprised, and yeah. this game is fun i have to say because the art style like i said it's that comic book style the character is chai and he is so quirky with his little one-liners <laughs> and stuff like that and it is a it's kind of a platform attacking but to the beat yes and that's what you and you say and they have some awesome artists oh, that play some tracks in this and because it's all to do with a lot of x and y and sort of or parrying and stuff like that but it all has to be done with the music and i found i was pretty rubbish at first because i kept hitting x and y and it kind of you yeah. get hit and stuff like that but i found the best way for me was tapping my foot to the song <laughs> and it was in my head and it hit the x and y to go with the beats and you get the combos and that's how you get your stuff it's very cool it is a rhythm game right again something you don't expect coming out of tango and then chai's charm personality really shines through yes. tango really knew what they had here and kind of elevated in a whole other level right they're not taking they're not holding any punches back they know it's quirky so they're going to kind of feed off of that and then keep pushing that forward and it pushes with the characters that you're introduced with this overarching company is looking to kind of take over so uh, we'll go with that we'll just they're looking to take over some yes. stuff so it's kind of one of those things you're like, hey, this is cool. But what I found was my biggest drawback was there's a lot of rinse and repeat, right? There's a platforming section. Then once you're done that, you're into an arena. And then you go back to the platforming and then you go to an arena. And then you go into your hub world and you kind of suit up, up and you gear up and kind of get ready for the next thing. And it's just a lot of rinse and repeat. It was the pacing that kind of threw me off. But then you get out into the world. You do have a little areas that you can kind of go and search and explore and gather more resources and stuff. And I found myself trying to deviate off the broken path a little bit as much as I could, but there really isn't a lot of to explore, right? There's, okay, there, there's yeah. just really this other little edge over here. So go down that pathway, grab your stuff, and then come back to the main path, right? There is a heavy focus yeah. from point A to point B, and that's really where you're gonna go, because point B just leads you to a little bit of an arena, which is a, seriously a four walled off little section. Yeah. Boss battles are there, right? Your minion battles are there. It's all in this little area. I'm like, man, again and again yeah. and again and again. And I was just like, that's the part that really hurt for me because they have so much life and personality within these characters, within the world, the story. Everything is really there. Chai himself, fantastic character, right? Walks nice. into this facility broken arm which we think is broken or, or sprained looks he's gonna sling right so you kind of yeah, yeah. you're left kind of confused as what's going on but he comes out all of a sudden now he's got this mechanical arm which turns into other abilities which then leads your game into this rhythm mechanics and stuff like that dude it's a ton of fun but for me yeah. it was that rinse and repeat mechanic that really threw me off in the pace and was hoping for a little bit more yeah i mean i do like the upgrades you can get as well because obviously mm. when he starts off with the with his uh, mechanical arm and like this metal baton comes out and you think oh is that a weapon then all of a sudden it energizes and any bits of scrap metal and it forms like a, the guitar yeah <laughs> so you're actually holding the neck of the guitar which is your weapon but i know what you mean though about the, the arenas have been very similar it, unfortunately it kind of reminded me like marvel's avengers Ooh. it was that kind of thing of like yeah. you go to point a to point b 
destroy all the enemies and clear off, and then you go there. But I do like the cutscenes in this game. It was very fluid, it's very smooth, and I will say this is a very solid game. And it, like you said, it is free on Game Pass if you own it. Absolutely. Steve, this has definitely been a nice surprise coming out of Tango Gameworks. What are you scoring Hi-Fi Rush? I had a lot of fun. I love everything about this game. It's good for all ages, and it's free if you've got Game Pass as well. And it's a solid game, so I'm giving this a solid 9 out of 10. How about well, you? Not bad at all. Not bad. I'm going to have to go with an 8.5, that rinse-repeat mechanic of here's a couple of fights, and then you end up in an arena, and you go back out in the open world, do a couple bit of platforming, and then back into the arena thing. This got a little stale for me. I was hoping that would change up a little bit, and it didn't really change too much. But overall, dude, this game works, right? Right from the get-go, yeah. the music is there. Fantastic artists are in this game. And everything is smooth. There's no hiccups, no nothing. Yeah, for me, solid 8.5.